Good morning. It's that time again. It's Technique Tuesday. Let me get my apron on. All right. So, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's got to be my favorite holiday, even though it's truly not a holiday for me. Um, but because I am not uh, Mexican uh, heritage or anything like that. However, I do love tacos. And anybody who knows me knows that I could eat like 12 tacos. I'm a huge Mexican food fan. My favorite. I could live and eat off it every day. Anyway, um, today's going to be a really fun project. We're going to make some, uh, some really interesting pieces. This is something that you can do for Mother's Day or even fast forward to Father's Day. These are so easy and they are um, fun and they can be so uh, specialized, like can be custom made to whatever you want. And um, let me just start by saying what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be using the Amy Howard, or she makes this maker studio, is ceramic paint. When I saw this, I knew I had to get it and I had to carry it in the store. So this is something that is brand new to the store. It's called a Maker Studio Ceramic Paint. Very excited about this. Okay, so let me show you. Um, here's something that I created yesterday. It's a little mug. It's got some flowers I use with my fingerprint. And I just took a little brush and drew some stems. And then I painted the inside. So see how cute that is? Of course, I asked my 15 and 17 year old if they would like to make a Mother's Day mug or plate just, you know, for me be able to show today and that answer was a <laughs> negative so anyway hopefully your children will be a little bit more receptive than mine were anywho okay so that's the mug i created and then i also did this little cute plate look how adorable this little plate is <clears throat> i'm going to show you today how we can liven it up just a little bit but before we do that i want to talk a little bit about the Maker Studio um, product line. They have these little, they call tri-mesh stencils, and uh, you just simply peel them off and stick them up while you're gonna put it on, and you're going to just put the ceramic paint on them. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But they're very versatile. These will work on anything, but today we're gonna do it with ceramic paint. Um, let me just show you this one real quick. This is just a simple R. Yeah, I know it's a little bit off center. I did not measure it. I uh, just kind of threw it on there and I just want to be able to show you real quick. Yes, I should have measured it, but anyway, uh, how cute would this be if you had some guests over and you were doing, uh, you having a little party and all of the table had your little initial on it. Very cute. Another idea would be, say you're going to a party at a friend's house and you have to bring a dish. Well, how cute would it be if you had something on there that with their initial or little message and you gave that to them as a hostess gift that they could keep it after they, um, you know, after the night of the party. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this little mesh stencil. It's called Always Grateful. What you simply do is you're just going to stick it right on your plate. Now, I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to simply eyeball it. I'm going to put it like right here. And these are self-adhesive, so they will stick on there. They are reusable, and you can just clean it up with water because this ceramic paint is water-based. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to use a fun color. Let's use this one. It's called "You're the Water to My Ocean." Okay. So what you do is you squeeze a little bit out. Sorry, my phone's ringing. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So squeeze a little bit out. You always wanna make sure you close it right, right away so that way, hey Cindy, um, you close it up right away so that way it doesn't dry out. Okay, so these are the paint scrapers that you use to put through your stencil. However, this one's kind of small. So what I did was I just simply took one and I cut a, I cut a chunk off. That way I can use, I have more control of what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue. It is called, again, let's see, it's called You're the Water to My Ocean. 
All right, I'm simply going to rub across. And I know this is not close enough for you to really see exactly what is going on. Um, I wish I had the capability of having two cameras that I could go in between, one for close up and one far away, but I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm simply just running it through this tri-mesh stencil. Now, a Maker Studio has several different mesh stencils that you can that you can buy. Um, I have a lot here in the store and I just ordered a few more that will be coming in shortly. These things are really um, fun to use. They're easy to use. Um, and by the way, there's other, um, there's other companies that make these tri-mesh stencils also. I think Chalk Couture and a few other ones, but these are really nice because it stops the bleed through from essentially going through and making your project a mess. Okay, so once you get it on, I'm simply going to pick up my stencil. Wow. Let me stick this aside for just a second. Look at that. How awesome is that? I know it's reading uh, backwards. I apologize about that. When I tried to flip the camera around, uh, it was, it turned to green or can't, is it regular? I can't tell. Anyway, so see how cute that is. Now imagine having, um, like the pumpkin or something else, else festive during the holidays, say Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, but how cute are these? Yay. Okay. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I'm going to show you, look, a cute little mug, just a pro tip. These are very inexpensive if you go to a thrift store. 25 cents, 50 cents. Imagine getting a nice big white bowl. Uh, Maker Studio has this really cute stencil that says dig in and put that on the bottom of the bowl for a big thing of popcorn. How cute is that? They have a, uh, a whole stencil pack like this with all different southern sayings like hey y'all and all that. And how cute would that be on a set of plates around your table? Okay. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a mug. Let me just stick this in my lap, put the stencil on here. They do have a whole coffee line of stencils that I just ordered. Those will be coming in shortly, okay. Try this again. It's a little bit more tricky when you want to put it on something that is round. Of course, I'm having a little bit of difficulty because this is live. <laughs> okay. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Okay. Let me just make sure that this is on here. So when I put my ceramic paint through the tri-mesh stencil, we don't get any bleed through. Okay, so here it is. It's on here. And this one I want to use, I really like this color. It's called Green with Envy. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. So I'm going to stick some on my palette over here. And I just simply have a little piece of cardboard. Cardboard. You can use a paper plate, a glass plate, or whatever you would like. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and snip off a, just another little piece of my spreader. And I'm going to take some green. And then I'm just going to run it over my stencil. Okay, so the cool thing about this is, is once you finish your design, you pop it in the oven at a temperature of 365 degrees. Uh, let me note, it's a cool oven. So put it in the cool oven, don't preheat your oven. Put it in the oven, set your oven for 365. Set your timer for 35 minutes. Let it go ahead and cool in your oven. And then your ceramic paint will be set. When I say set, it means it will become microwave safe. It is food safe. Um, originally, I was told it was dishwasher, dishwasher safe. However, it's recommended that you hand wash it. Okay. I'm just making sure 
Hold on, let me get my eyes on. Making sure I have every part of the stencil covered. Okay, and make sure I get all the excess paint off because you really don't want it to have an uneven coverage. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my stencil off. Now remember, these stencils can be reused. Woo. Okay, ta-da! Remember, the paint is water-based. You can simply wash these and you can reuse them again. Hey, Jenny. Good morning. Okay, so that is some of the things you can do with these. Now, I just want to show you one other thing. See this little bird? I made him, but it's kind of bland. You know, it's just black and white, which might be fine for some people. However, I wanted to show you how you can jazz it up just a little bit. If you take one of your color, one of your ceramic paints, and you add just a teeny bit of water to it, which I already have done, it makes a light wash. And then you can take it and you can paint over certain areas. Like I'm gonna take my little wash and I'm gonna add some to my, my little flowers here to give it some more color. See, I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. So if there were more flowers, I could add several different colors. This will just liven up your little piece just a little bit more. And all I have to do is now to make this resistant is simply put it back in the oven at 365 for 35 minutes and it will stay on there too. You can definitely layer. If you go to a makerstudio.com, you'll see several other different examples of different things you can use. Anyway, so, oops. Oh, and one last thing. As I grabbed this, I had some green paint on my fingers and I got it on my mug. Until you put it in the oven, it is not permanent. You can scratch it off, wipe it off, change it. So if you're doing this and you decide, oh, I really don't like that, or it, or it bleeds through, or you made a mistake or whatever, you just simply wash it off and then start again. But how cute would this be if you just had a mug and you had your child maybe use their thumbprint, make some flowers, and then sign their name with a paintbrush and some paint. Then you can enjoy coffee every morning with something that your child made, unlike my children who would not participate. Anyway, so she has, like I said, a whole line of different tri, tri mesh stencils. We do carry them in the shop and a whole bunch of the different, I think there's um, nine or 10 different ceramic colors. And obviously you can mix them to get different tones. But these things, I love them. As soon as I saw them, I had to order them. She has some other products, I'm not gonna talk about right now. It'll be another Technique Tuesday. Um, if you ever have an idea for what I can do on a Technique Tuesday, just simply email me, call me, text me, step in the store and let me know. Um, by the way, if you know anybody that might be interested in some of this ceramic paint, share the video or tag them in it and so they can see what you can make with some of this stuff. Okay, so um, real quick, I just want to reiterate that we will be opening tomorrow, Wednesday, and we're going to have our summer days, which is Wednesday through Saturday. Our hours will be temporarily from 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. Saturdays will be our normal schedule of 10 to 4. Tuesdays we have reserved for the high risk population if they want to create an appointment with us, 30 minute increments, and if they want to come in and just do solo shopping so they are in a safe environment, that is what Tuesdays are going to be. So this is our schedule temporarily until we see a need to change it. Um, of course, there's still our inventory page. It's called Pick and Boots Vintage Fort Myers Inventory. It's a group, you just click join and you can go in there and look at our different categories. We have videos, categories of like dressers, mirrors, etc., cetera. Um, or we have by vendor. So you just comment that you wanna buy something, we invoice you and then we arrange curbside pickup. And we will continue to do that until, until the, there's no need for it. Um, all right, you guys have a great day and thank you for joining me for Technique Tuesday.